Tea time with tea. Hello, wonderful people. I had to let um, yesterday's news kind of percolate a little bit in my brain. <laughs> and of course, I had to watch out for the action, reaction of those wonderful people who view Trump as an actual person. Hmm. So, let's start with the announcement about Kamala Harris. Great choice. My choice was Tammy Duckworth. I like her. I like her a lot. And really would have liked um, Kamala Harris as a G. Yeah, that would have really set off some fireworks. We've already got him going, but hey, we'll wait and see who he makes AG. Yeah, but the fact that Trump has freaking lost his mind about him choosing her. He was counting on Susan Rice. He already had the narrative set up. Uh, yeah, he's going to bring... Um, Susan Rice saying she's going to clean up those eight years of evidence that the Obama administration broke so many laws. Yeah, that kind of went thump when he chose Kamala. <laughs> now, the upside of her is she's got a sharp mind. Upside, she's really smart. Really smart, young. She has backbone. What my grandma used to call spunk. <laughs> and I love that. There are w really wonderful women in the world who have that. None of them married Trump, and he doesn't like having them around him because he considers them nasty. They're nasty women. They ask rude and abrasive questions, basically questions that he doesn't really want to answer. That's the real deal. Come on, people. <laughs> so, I've been, I had a chance to sit back and watch his reaction. His reaction, which is primarily that she's scary and she wants to, um, you know, they, they want to destroy America. They want to have, um, what, immigrants in this country. <laughs> Both her parents are immigrants. Didn't turn out too bad there, did it? Um, Joe wants to allow um, people to just run rampant and they're anti-government and they're anti what he, he still hasn't come up with a real solid thing yet um they're um they're anti-law and order all of this number one she's an attorney and an ex-ag so that kind of goes out the window um oh what else is he throwing out there she's socialist no she's not She's not socialist. They're kind of, um, just as um, Joe Biden isn't actually liberal, liberal, he's more right liberal, not even center, not far left, not socialist. He, he's, he's left, right, more republic, more, more conservative than most liberals are. Her? She's straight up law and order. And that key can't say that she's, oh, she's far left. No, she's way too much of an attorney and um, very much about law and order to call her that. So, you know, that, that, I'm sure that narrative will fall apart soon. Um, what's the other thing they're pushing? He's appealing to the suburban women. Oh, Lordy B, let me clutch my pearls. There's black people living in the neighborhood. <laughs> people have lived in the suburbs for decades. Mind you, um, he and his daddy 
worked as hard as they could to block things like that. Because really, if you look at it this way, gentrification is white people coming into the city, taking over the um, inner city areas. So where did you think the black people from the city are going to move to? The suburbs. I guess they were just supposed to go poof and vanish. Oh, what's the other thing? There's this new little thing. Poor Kamala. She doesn't know what she is. On her paperwork, she's Indian. But then she calls herself black. These are the same people who, if you took a Jamaican, an actual Saudi, Saudi Sudan, Sudanese black person, and an American black person, sit the three of them at a table and walk them and say, hey, count how many black people are over at the table. They say three. They have no distinction at all. So somehow, because her, because her father's from Jamaica, she does not have black in her. If you remember correctly, we, one thing we've had in this country forever is the one drop rule. If one of your relatives is black, no matter how pale you may be, you're black. Now, if you if you let that get out, you're black. So somehow now it's all about, well, she doesn't know what she is. She knows exactly what she is. Oh, and they're trying to throw in her relatives may have owned slaves. You do know Jamaica was a British colony with black slaves, right? So if her grandfather's grandfather was white, then he probably owned slaves. See where I'm going with this? Yeah. So she's what, four or five generations removed? I know I've got that wrong. From the slave master? And you're gonna try to throw that out there? Really? Oh my God. So, right now, our country is in a very precarious position. We need to get, what we need is to make America proud again to rebuild the allies that we've had for a hundred years. Because in the last four years, like an arsonist, he's gone along and burned them up. Left, right, and center, constantly destroying our links to different countries. Literally, Canada just literally said, we don't want any of you to come up here. Nope. We know you've got dual citizenship. Mike, yeah, your mom was Canadian, your dad was American, you have every right to come here, but right now, mm -mm. nope, don't come up here, we can't have you, we cannot afford your foolishness up here right now, and Trump is pissed about that, but they have every right to do that, what was it he called, um, oh, those shithole countries, you know, like Haiti and Jamaica. He doesn't know how to handle Kamala, and I love it. She's a strong woman of color, which Biden said, I will choose a woman of color. What Trump doesn't seem to understand is there are a lot of different colors. There's Jamaica, there's India, there's Africa, there's, South, there's, there's all the nations of South America. He had a lot to choose from. He chose her. And she has the backbone to smile and politely tell someone to fuck off. That's her. And I respect that. Biden? I think Biden saw in her someone who could t actually take the reins. Unlike Sarah Palin, who, no, was not ready to step in and take the reins because she didn't want to listen to anybody. Every time someone tried to tell her something, I don't know. 
Well, what we wound up with years later was Trump, a female Sarah Palin, who doesn't read, doesn't want to listen to anybody, is all, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing, even when you're completely screwing things up. So, now, the Republican Party is stuck with him. Mitch McConnell is stuck with him. They tried to throw um, Kanye West in there. <laughs> Let me see, what was it? Illinois made them throw all of those signatures out. Because once they started going to going, oh, nope, nope, not valid, nope, fake, nope, nope, fake, just shred them all. No, you cannot go on the Illinois ballot. Now, these other states, they need to get their act together, too. Go through those god darn signatures that the attorney from the Republican Party ran up in there five minutes to five o'clock to file at the last minute. No. Take that name off that ballot. It doesn't need to be there. I am really very, I'm happy. I'm settling in happy with Kamala Harris. There are, oh, there are also those who like to throw, who are throwing out there, well, at 29 years old, she had an affair with the Attorney General of California. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Well, you know, oh my goodness, that's just so, this, so unusual and so wrong for a woman to have, be involved in such a... Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Men have been marrying rich women with money for centuries to get into politics. Look at Hamilton. He married a Skylar sister to get the daddy who had money who could help him to get into politics. Guess what? She cut out the middleman. Yeah, she had an affair with him. She was 29 years old. After that, she ran for office. She won her position. Once she got into her position, she proved herself with her brains and her skill. After that, she ran for the Senate. And guess what? Proved herself again. You, don't, you can't give someone skill. They have to learn it, they have to, they have to cultivate it, and then, from then on, it's on them, what they do with it. Lord have mercy, any excuse will do. And while you're screaming about um, her having an affair, excuse me, we've got a three-time adulterer in the White House. We've got someone who didn't get back-to-back -back adulterer. Up to and including with the current wife. My God. We, uh. But you'll turn a blind eye to that. You will, no, mm, mm, nope, 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 nope. Fake news. We've got someone in there that has had 22 women file complaints for assault and sexual harassment. But, oh, let's turn a blind eye to that. It's fake news. Yeah, well, you know what? Not one of those women have been brought up on charges of perjury. They have enough evidence to make it, make it real enough to go to court. To make it real enough to be able to file charges and not have to worry about the judge turning around and saying, you need to do a year for perjury. You lied. Not one of them has been said that they lied. Just that he doesn't want to go to court about it. And we all know that he lied from the nonstop lie about, I'm going to put my, my, my taxes out there. I'm going to show you my taxes. Honestly, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, after the election, yeah, yeah, right after I'm sworn in. And then suddenly, poof, no tax information. But you guys are okay with the lies. Literally, I have come to realize there is a section of this country that is like an abused spouse. 
He walks by, he smacks you up the the head, and you go, why'd you do that? And he said, I didn't do it. But you just hit me. I didn't do it. What are you talking about? Psst, that's fake news. Then he walks by and smacks you again. And this time when you say, wait, I've got a bruise here. Why, why did you hit me? The first word out of his mouth is, I wouldn't have done it if you hadn't made me do it. If you just, you know, if you, you weren't pushing or questioning and just, that, that's, the, that's the reason I, you know, you made me do it. You made me smack you. You made me put those marks on your body. After he's out of office, the first thing he's going to say is, well, they made, they told me what they wanted when they hired me and I gave it to them. I don't understand why they're complaining. They wanted to make America great again, and I did everything I could to do that. Well, obviously, I had to break ties with Germany. Obviously, I had to break ties with England. Obviously. I told you. Like an abusive spouse. It's not his fault. It's everyone else's fault. And those of you who support him and repost this crap within six months after the fact. You will have erased those memes, taken them off your page. I never said that. I never agreed with that. That's exactly what you'll do. And some of you, I'm looking for some of you and you know who you are. To make some snide little remark about, hmm, it's not like we ever saw her birth certificate. We don't know she was born in Compton. It won't be your first time. Yeah, those have been my thoughts all day. Trump is a coward. He's looking to throw anyone he can under the bus. And the Republican Party knows they are in deep, deep shit. And keep your eye on Trump. He was all for the Tea Party. All for the Freedom Caucus. All for the GOP. Now, he's blowing smoke up the um, lady who's um, now on the ballot. She's a part of the group that's called QAnon. Q-A-U-O-N. Basically, it's the baby of that party. They're ultra, ultra conservatives. Ultra, ultra conservatives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what we got right now. Watch this man. He's going to try to pull anything and everything he can before the election. I received something in the mail about um, ordering my ballot by mail. I didn't request this. So what I'm actually going to do is go online to my state's website and order my ballot. And when I get it and fill it out, I'm going to drop it at the box the day of the election. I'm not mailing it back because I don't want anything getting lost or misplaced along the way. My vote has to count. So, ladies and gentlemen, we need to get planning now. Nephews, nieces, anyone whose hours have been cut, get yourself down there and get registered to vote. You need your photo ID. You need a verifiable address. You need to have this. Be ready to go. Get trained to work the, po the polls in your area. Go to vote.org, see if you're already registered, see what areas you could work in the polls, okay? Plan ahead. Don't give them a chance to lower the number of, of um, polling places, okay? We also need folding chairs, bottled water and cooler. We need a mobile porta potty potty. We have time to work this out where there would be one at every poll. Have a couple strong young men there. 
7 p.m. come and they tell me, well, voting's over. Sorry, you hundred people standing out there. You missed your chance. I expect y'all to say, bullshit, we keeping this door open? And you're voting. You're letting everybody out here vote. If we have to hold those doors open, keep that power on till 11 o'clock at night. Everybody voting. This has been my opinion. This has been Tea Time with Tea. Y'all, this is a fight for the soul of our nation. For the respect and the honor of our nation. We need, we need to make America proud again. Every one of us. Anyway. In Tea Time with Tea. Remember, trust the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Bye-bye.